Hey YouTube! So I'm just here today with a music review, which I haven't done in so long, and I just feel like I've missed so many albums to talk to you guys about, but I just, I gotta talk about up as a loss. I've been meaning to do a video like this for a while, but I just haven't. But anyways, I'm doing one today just because there has been some music that I do want to talk about, uh, and some people that I want to talk about. <laughs> um... In some of my other music reviews, it's been really, like, kind of organized and, like, a lot of factual information on the artists and how many albums they had and where they originate from and, like, all those types of things, but I just feel like I just want to talk about the music, so I'm just gonna talk about the music <laughs> um, as far as, like, what I think about it and reviews of the album, so that I'm going to talk about. I do try to sort of have a variety of music. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions as far as like albums, I seriously love any kind of music. Like you name it, I like it. Uh, so I'm definitely down to do a review on any music. So, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep this review just really lax and just talk about the things that I want to talk about in this video. <laughs> so let's just go ahead Oh, that scared me. So let's just go ahead and jump into the first album. So the first album that I want to talk about, and I'm also going to try and keep this really quick, but anyways, moving on. Um, and I have my iPod right here and obviously my headphones, so just I can kind of go through it and as I'm listening to it, just tell you, it's just like kind of like a reminder thing. So this is not just like a random prop like, oh, let me just wear my headphones because I'm so fucking hip. Um, <laughs> Okay, so the first album that I want to talk about is Natalia Kills. Her album is called Trouble. And you guys may or may not know this artist, but she has a really popular song, and this is the reason that I even know of her, is I think it's a DSW. It's either DSW or like Shoe Dazzle or one of those shoe songs, I don't know, or shoe commercials. Um, I'll put a link down for it below to kind. Um, but it's a song called Trouble, and I'll put a little snippet of it here. Okay, so I just really love this song. It's super catchy. It's kind of like, I don't know, I just feel like it's just, it makes me feel like a badass when I listen to it. I don't know why, it just does. And I just really like it, and it's really good to listen to, like, when I'm getting ready or, like, I'm getting ready to go out. It's really good to listen to at the gym. I really like it. The only thing that I don't like about this album is there's, like, a handful of songs that I like on the album, but I just really feel like I just kind of, like, skip through a lot of the songs on it. And I don't like when I have an album where it's just, like, well, I gotta fish through that album or to that album and then fish through it to find, like, the one, two, maybe three songs that I like, but... Other than that, I do really like that song. Um, she kind of reminds me of that other girl, that Iggy Azalea or whatever. She has a song called Just Working On My Shit, and I really like that song too, but I don't think her album's out yet. Not really sure. But anyways, I do really like that song, and I really like this some of the songs on the album. Don't, like, totally love the album, but... Anyways, let's just go ahead. Okay, so the next out. album I want to talk about is by Ariana Grande. Or Grand? Grande? I'm really not sure, honestly, how to say that, and I probably should know how to say it, but I don't. So, <laughs> anyways, the album is called Yours Truly, and I can honestly say I, say I waited for this album to come out for so long. Like, I thought it was out, and it wasn't, and I kept checking. I was like, where is this album? And I finally, finally got it, and I honestly really, really love it. I want to say that the sound of the album is like... I want to say, I mean, obviously a lot of people are like, oh, it sounds like Mariah Carey, like, back in the day or even now, and it really does sound like Mariah Carey, like, back in the 90s. It really does. Like, old Hollywood meets Mariah Carey 90s slash, like, kind of hip-hop, poppy Ariana Grande, <laughs> if any of that makes sense. Um, I really, really do love the album. I can say I love every single song on it. It is a little bit slow. It's very, like, a sweet, you know, kind of, like, cute album. Um, which seems to be her style thus far. She's kind of has like that baby face, um, kind of, not baby, baby face, yes, but she has like that very innocent image to her, and I mean, 
We'll see how long that lasts in Hollywood. <laughs> but um, I do really like the album. It is really good. Honestly, that one song, Baby Eye, and then there's another song that's on the radio, and they play it over and over and over, and I wish they would just really release a couple of the other songs that she has on the album because the whole entire album is really good and the fact that she gets compared to Mariah Carey is huge so if you liked Mariah Carey in the 90s chances are you're probably gonna like Mariah Carey not Mariah Carey but chances are you are gonna like this album so if you do like those couple of songs and you like Mariah Carey then go check it out I will obviously play a little bit of a snippet for you here Okay, so the next album that I want to talk about is by Drake, and I was a little bit skeptical, 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 I'm really bad with words sometimes. The last Drake album, I was like, mmm, not so much, and I don't know if that's just because I'm really not like a huge like rap, arm, like, rap fan, and I don't know, I just felt like the last Drake album was just kind of a flop for me, I was just like, I got it. And I literally listened to it one time, and that was it. Maybe I should try listening to it more. I don't know. But I did give this album a chance, and I do like it better than the last album. It has, like, definitely, like, Drake has a very, like, particular sound. I mean, obviously, he's, like, rapping. Um, but there's a lot of featured artists on here that I've never heard of, and they're pretty good. And he has a lot of, like, kind of slower jams. I don't like that song, um, Started From The Bottom, Now We Hear. Like, I just don't like it. I found it so repetitive and just kind of irritating. Every time it comes on the radio, I'm like, oh, God, I changed the channel. Um, but I do like the other song that he has that's out right now. Um, just Hold On, We're Coming Home. So I do like that song. Um, he does have some other really cool songs and a lot of the songs I feel like have that kind of chipmunk sound to it. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like in the background it's like da 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 You know what I'm talking about? I don't know. I can't obviously do it because uh, just because but it does have a lot of that and like in a really strange way I like when artists have that randomly. Like I just feel like it's just kind of like fun and different and I don't know, I just really like that. So, um, I do like the album. Um, there's not really a whole lot for me to say about it, but I do like it. I'm still kind of giving it some chances. <laughs> it's got some good beats just to kind of like throw on maybe in the background. Maybe it's more like a background kind of music for me as opposed to at the gym or like trying to get ready or really involving anything where it's like I need to actually like get like motivated to do something it's more of like a background music like maybe cleaning the house or <laughs> folding laundry which I hate um that's kind of how I feel about that but I do like the album so it wasn't a flop like the last one was and I really don't have any problems with Drake thus far so I didn't really have any problems with getting this album. Okay so this is the album that I've been really wanting to talk about and not even so much the album but really the person. Can we just go ahead and talk about Miley some more? So I'm sorry but Miley Cyrus really is a hot mess and it makes me really sad because I feel like she is a relatively, in retrospect, a good artist. If you haven't seen some of her work that, I'll, I'll put it down below, she's done some backyard sessions um, where she's singing like acoustic and she has like a band. I don't really know a lot about it. I don't know if it's like her band or whatever it is, but I recently found it on YouTube and I was like, oh my gosh, like this before she had like the shaved head and the crazy like tongue thing going on and like all of the ridiculous shenanigans that she's putting out there right now for probably publicity, which I'm hoping is just for publicity 
and not because she's really having some sort of like mental breakdown and the next thing we know she's going to be in like an insane asylum or something. But <laughs> anyway, she does a cover of the song Jolene by Dolly Parton and it's literally amazing. I was blown away by her voice and she has a couple other songs. I will put these down below. I will link them down below. You guys should really, really check them out. Um, but anyways, as far as the album goes, her new album is called Bangers and it didn't take very long for me to really actually like this album. I love the song We Can't Stop. Yes, her performance at the VMAs was absolutely just like horrifying, uncalled for. And yeah. <laughs> and then um, her video, I mean, definitely pushing it far. And then she just came out with her Wrecking Ball song. And I don't know if y'all have seen the video for that, but I was seriously, like, the whole time I was just making this face. Like, seriously, I'm not joking. It's so, it's not disturbing. It's just like, what are you doing? Like, you're humping this wrecking ball while, like, swinging around and, like, most of the time you're naked and then the rest of the time you're like pretty much naked and you're licking this sledgehammer like what are you doing I mean I wish that I had seen the video because when you just listen to the song the song is good the words are good the lyrics are good I'm not saying like you know I'm not talking like she's up there with the Beatles or Rolling Stones or anyone else that is like of legitimate songwriting but for our generation or for the generation currently, I do feel like those lyrics are better than some others that I have heard. So I'm really sad that I watched that video because now whenever I listen to this song, all I can think about is her swinging around on this wrecking ball, slicking, slicking sledgehammers. And it's just like, oh, it's just so gross. Oh, so anyways. <laughs> don't like sledgehammers. It's just really not cute. It, there's nothing sexy about it. I mean, I don't know if it's just because I'm a girl, female, whatever, and maybe guys find it attractive. If you're a guy, like, will you just comment down below and just tell me, like, if you really found that video, like, pleasing or attractive in any way? Um, and if so, what? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Do you? I don't know. I just am like, what is going on? Like, what? I don't know. <laughs> So anyways, but all of that aside, and I really wanted to talk about this just because, I don't know, I just want to talk about it with you guys, and I just really hope that you guys comment down below so we can just talk about it because I really want to. <laughs> but as far as the album goes, I do really like the album. She has some good songs on the album. They're catchy. They're fun. Um, I can dance to them. I can work out to them. I mean, as far as the album goes, it's catchy. So I really like it. She has a lot of featured artists, like she has Britney Spears on a song, she has Ludacris on a song, she has, I think, Nelly on one of the songs? Let me look. Yes, yeah, she does have a song that is featuring Nelly as well. So, I mean, in all in all, I, I like the album. I mean, as much as Miley is just so crazy right now and not a good example, I mean, we always have to have an artist that's probably not a good example. I mean, back in the day, we had Madonna. I mean, she was walking around half naked with, like, cones. I mean, really singing about Like a Virgin and things like that. And she's, like, an icon now. So, not saying, I'm not saying that Miley Cyrus is going to be an icon. I'm not saying that. I mean, maybe she will, maybe she won't. I don't know. But as far as her voice goes, I do find her to be relatively talented. I got it listened to it for like a day and I was instantly hooked so whatever she's doing right now I mean she's getting me to talk about her she's getting the whole entire world to talk about her so I mean sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do and right now Miley Cyrus is doing her own thing so um, I'll put a little clip it uh, of my very favorite song or at least one of my favorite songs from the album right now
today. I just wanted to just like so randomly talk about those things. I don't know if you guys even like care or agree or listen to any of these things, but I do just really like to talk about music, so if you guys want to chime in um, in any kind of way or you have any like, you know, suggestions or anything like that, just post it down below in the comments. Um, I love getting feedback from you guys and I do like to respond. I try to respond as quickly as I can, which is pretty quick. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you haven't done so already, then if you guys just could go ahead and click that subscribe button for more. I do all kinds of videos. I haven't really narrowed it down, but I don't really like to narrow it down. I just kind of like to, you know, live on the edge um, and just kind of do whatever I want. So if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and hit that, hit that subscribe button and thumbs up if you like these kinds of videos so that I know just go ahead and thumbs up and I'll do more music reviews but I'll probably do them anyway no matter what you guys can also go ahead and go like my Facebook page which is Facebook backslash Miss Freebird and you can also find me on Instagram which is also Miss Freebird spelled like it is here and I will put all of this information down below to kind everything is always down below there for you guys so until next time I hope you guys have a good day or a good night and uh what do I usually say? <sighs> so I hope you guys have a good day or good night, whatever it is, wherever you are, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!